Are you ready? <laughs> That's that game we face. <laughs> There's something conspiracy choice. So he said something. And the tribe of Judah won't like it. <laughs> tribe of Judah. Okay, he said, shout out to VC, Judah Baga, Remy. I like guy Billy and Badu. He said VC first. Ah! He mentioned VC first before he mentioned him by Abaga. Like, he mentioned VC. Like, to all you tribe of Judah, shout out to tribe of Judah. I fuck with y'all guys. To all you tribe of Judah, they're always <laughs> shading the vector. Ili likes vector. And I'm going to say this. Ili puts vector. Before. Like ESPN, no a and so I was able to invest in him. I had a kick in the door that won't let me in. Just slap me win. Cause I done earned stripes like shell toes. Till I'm packing stadiums. I won't keep my mouth closed. OG told me make smart moves. Oh, 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 my best track on the album. Ili Chapotila rest. I did tell you. I'm still sitting at the table of dogs. Shout out. This is Day Genius, aka Big Genie. And we're right here with Ili Chapo X album review. Unbiased. Shout out to Ili Chapo. Okay, Ili Chapo blocked me on Twitter because I didn't like his monster verse. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But let's go with the album review because I'm a fan of the old bliss. Like, who's not a fan of the old bliss? First of all, I want to say the album has 17 tracks and that takes you back, back when albums used to have 22 tracks. And that shit was nice. And I like, really appreciate that effort. Like, the work in this album is much. But we're going to do it on by ass. These are my opinion. These are not facts. These are my personal opinion. That's how I feel about it. So don't get angry if I say something you don't like. You feel me? It's big genie. So let's go. All right. First of all, I want to say the tracks. The beats are very engaging. I got notes here. This is like a 17 track album. So I got notes. <laughs> like, bro, you serious with this? I got notes. Uh, I'm going to put some snippets of the songs there. If you want to hear the full album, you got to go get it. I'm a Apple Music gang, so I use Apple Music. So, shout out to Apple Music. Shout out to you, please. Now let's get it. Track one. God Made You King. This is a, it has a very cool intro. For a 17 track album, this is, like, this is a very good intro. Like I really like it. Like It gives you that feel, that OG feel, that like, God Made You King. Like I like it, bro. And I like the instrument at the beginning. It sounds like all those, you know, royal instrument that are royal beat. I like it. It's cool. So I'm not really going to do bad breakdown for that because it's just cool. So let's go to number two, which I really like so much. And that is Ew. That is, it says something like, no more handshakes, no more hugs. Like, that is reality. That is what. I personally like, I like something that is real, something that you can hear and like, yeah, because that's the reality we're facing right now due to the COVID-19 and the album. I mean, this song is really cool. And it says something about the poor, beat the poor, which relate to the one billion boys. I mean, one million boys, waiting middle class people, people that are not really rich. They're never really the problem of this country. The one million boys are poor people, like the poor, let's say poor people, robbing <laughs> poor people, like it's crazy. So I really felt that. And it says something about our father, heal the head. Um, heal, I love it. But to be realistic, the hook, uh, I don't really like the hook, but that's me. So let's go to number three, because this album is long, gotta run it quick. Number three is Goddess, and this is an hip hop song you can really vibe to. This is like, Toasting a girl, and you only give a bat. <laughs> you don't even give a shit whether she says yes or no. You just toast her and be like, see, I'm Ely. You're a goddess. I'm on your king. Let's go. Like, it's like kind of like when a boss is asking a girl out. Like, you know, you don't really have no option because you, you got the money and then you got the persona. And you're just going to say yes. You're a real goddess. 
And it's all about appreciating the African lady. He said, drinking champagne from the motherfucking bottle. I like punchlines, but I like real shit. Like, that is when you go to the club and you see real G's with money, they drink champagne from the bottle. Like, nobody use cups, bro. You feel me? And I like the way it transitioned to Igbo in English, and that shit is classic, really, your bliss stuff. Like, it's so smooth with it. You just do the Igbo stuff and it goes to the English, and it's all nice and it's all real. You feel me? No future yet. And this is track three. That's nice. That's some J. Cole shit, bro. Let's go. Now, country is the best intro. You sample that Bonner Boy rant. You know that Bonner Boy rant. It's right here. Yeah, I ain't going to play the full one. Okay, he said the blood of the innocent hanging over the head of you bastards and lady shit like sheesh. Like when he said that, like, I felt it. I felt it. Like, people are hungry. People are dying. Especially with the rape stuff. Like, the government, the leaders are not even doing nothing about it. Like when we riot on Twitter and we shout, shout, what the, the worst thing they're going to do is just, or the maximum stuff they're going to do is just send a tweet or talk about it and they move on. No, no real actions to solve the problem. And it shows you how crazy this country is. And I love the topic. And I immediately added it to my playlist of the week. I have playlist of the week. I have playlist of the month. So that's how I do any new song that I like. I put in my playlist of the week. If I hear it over the week, then I pick it up. So this is like on my playlist of the week. And this track four, first track going on my playlist of the week. So let's keep going. Yeah, but I still have issues with the hook though. But I don't know. That's ill because he doesn't really give a fuck about the hook. What if he just want, he wants you to get the message and he just tells you what he wants to tell you. And towards the end, I really like this song, but <laughs> towards the end, this song like this one will be Lamba. Chapel Black Man, but every time I'm around the street, don't understand my grandma. Like, to be honest, okay, I ain't gonna talk about that. So, the outro is a Bonner Boy outro. Let's go. Track five, Kiss the Rain. Mm, same cheesy hook, but the message is crazy. He said, I let more evil boys in. So is my fault. Some people might say it's tribalistic, but no. That is his gang, like that is his hood, 042. That is that is him. So you have to put your family first, like family, yeah, family first. So it's not a tribalistic uh line at all. It's just him telling you, like, I let the evil boys in, so it's my fault. Like, that's cool, but that's bossy. And that's, I like that track though. I like it. It says on like tactic black convoy. <laughs> right, I like it, man. Like the the bravado of you please on this track is crazy, like. <laughs> You please, man, like the bossiness, like he doesn't give a fuck, he just says it the way he like. And this review is based on first listen, so so just work with me. Then track six, business, like I like that. Hot as nigga from the south is sheesh. I just like the bragging, like the way he talks on this, you know, that typical evil business bragging, and I love it. But this hook is way better. Don't know your face, it's all biz like. Bro, it's all business, like, and that's that evil boy attitude, like, it's all business, like, bro, don't take it personal, it's just business, like, you mean, like, sorry, I got cool, like, I got cut out. So I added this to my playlist of the week also, fuck the crown, just put the money down, like, I like that. Nice to have suspect on all the mix, like, suspect mix everything, like, <laughs> and he was always putting the signature on every track. But by the time I got to track 13, I was like, man, so spend now. You don't put your uh signature from track one to ten. At least leave the other as well. But well, well, I don't know. Track 17, Kaku, join the lead of top bosses. And he shout out Fino and Zo. That's why I like you, please. Like he puts his gang on. And that's the evil rappers, the evil community. Like he doesn't Baba just Baba carry, he carry on for air because that's how it should be. You understand? Just like the way the Jews do business. Jews trade with the Jews. Ibo trade with Ibo. Although, bro, you got to give some, some business to be your reverse too also. You feel me? But I love, I love, I love the way he carries it up. Like, it's nice. Finally, on Kaku, I have the punchline I like. He said, Immaculate. All white with a fucking navy. Like, I like that. Immaculate. You know, holiness is all, all white with a fucking navy. I just like, it's not like he's a crazy punchline, but I just like the way it sounds. Like, Immaculate. Oh, why would the fucking Navy? 
Kaku is cool. The oak is nice. And the lines are hard. So let's go to number eight. I'm just trying to run it because I don't want this video to be too long. So number eight is Opa Iweka. And it's typical Iblis banger tune. Featuring Fino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot. Like, Fino was on this track. Which is nice, man. The There's some... Yeah, I remember what I like about this Opa Iweka is like on the hook. There's somebody doing a little bit singing, ad lib type of thing. Like, that shit is nice. It sounds really nice. You know, I like it. So that's why I added it to the playlist of the week because of the hook. And Iblis, I was expecting Fino to like do the hook because when I saw it, Opa Iweka is going to be like a dance track and Fino is going to sing, you know, like classic Fino. Like, but Fino rap, it's been long since I heard Fino rap. So I was glad to hear Fino, Fino rap again. So it's cool. It's cool. I like it. I like it, man. I like it. Then he said something like that. Like he said, I'm so sorry. I'm counting. No vex. I'm counting like you this braggadoosh. Then number nine, Chuck Nye was fever featuring Yemi Alade. So, <clears throat> he started with a typical English standard verse. Then Yemi Alade comes in with the African African appealing thing, yeah. You know, he's gonna shoot a video. For, I know you believe he's gonna shoot a video for this, and it's the right move because Yemi Aladi is not just a Nigerian female artist, Yemi Aladi is an African female artist because she's known across Africa. So if they shoot this video, bro, I don't really listen to Yemi Aladi on my playlist, but I love to like turn on my TV and just see her video comes because it's so colorful, the dance, the energy, and it's so African. It's not like a Nigerian. I know she used Nigerian language, but it's so African. So she like Yemi Ade, like so this track featuring Yemi Ade, if they do a video for it, it's gonna go across Africa. I'm sure it'll be it'll place is gonna get more African fans. Yeah. So track 10, die idea. And I know this die idea was like this slang with die idea was a popular slang from the BBN season where Team Miracle won. I'm not a fan of BBN. So I like the topic. Like it's also talking. It's the same. You know, you know what I like about this album? The team is consistent. Like it's consistent. It's talking about his country, it's talking about business, it's talking about that evil culture, that braggado. Like, I got that money. Like, even look at the album cover. Man, the album cover is ish. Because you know me, I love PJ504. Well, I don't know what model of PJ is this, but this is <laughs> this is like shh. Like the album, you know, my dad got a, as, as a PJ 504, that's like the first car I, I was in growing up. Like, my dad had a PJ 504 that was given to him, but that's another personal story. But I love PJ 504, like, so I love the album cover, so I love the consistency. And back then, the officials, police, the government officials, they used PJ 504 throughout. So, that this is very significant, it's not just a car. You know, it's not just a car in the in the uh, it's not just a car, it's very significant to Africa uh, to Nigerian history. So let me keep let's keep going. So, but he said something in this with the idea. He said we're still giving them the hard call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything about that. The beats are hard call, but I don't really think the lyrics are hard call. I'm not saying this is a software, like it's you know. He's, you know, if you want to compare him to an American rapper, maybe you compare him to like, um, uh, yeah, Rick Ross, Rosie, or stuff like that. But not a Jay Z, I don't know. So he said he opened the door for the Igbo boys. Nice. Yeah, I love the real life though. So one of my best tracks on this album is the track 11, Superman, featuring No Niniola. This one will get music video, I swear, because Nini intro was so soothing. Damn, I love that intro. It sounds so nice. Like the way Nini started it. And I like you, Bliss. He's so stingy with his album and his tracks. Like he doesn't really want to give you the shine because it's his track. Because some other people just allow the guest artist, like the featured artist, to just take the hook or take the first verse. And you don't even know like who owns the track. But he. He, he merely Nini uh, last started it like, with a nice intro. He just started rapping, like, and Nini Ola's chorus was as in the chorus of the hook was very short. Just like so, you're gonna still feel ill bliss. Although Nini was so 
like kisses for Nini. I got crushes. I got like crazy crush on Nini. Like Nini is beautiful. Nini is sexy. Nini is nice. Okay, you know, back to you, please. So, um, there's something I wrote down here that I really like. So I added this to my playlist of the month. Ah! I added it to my playlist of the month. Like not every song get to my playlist of the month. <laughs> so this getting to my playlist of the month means I really, really like it. I'm listening to this all month, though. Like all throughout uh, this month. So the next track is Generation. So Generation, this is hard. This generation, like, is having a conversation of how his generation was messed up. Like, early generation is kind of my generation. Because I know he's older than me, but it's like, kind of, because I grew up listening to Eo Please. Shout out to the uh, Tall Boy Breed. Yeah, Tall Boy Breed. Obi Wan and them. So he's talking about how it wasn't easy to get to the current stage, like, building up his empire, his music, his uh, discography, and everything. But there's something I want to address about this track. Genie is about to say some shit. I ain't got no trash bag in my background, so you know this is some real shit. He said something. He made some shout out to the next generation. And he mentioned... He mentioned some rappers. He said Ladipo, Paper, Colleon, Otis, Black Bones. Those are the new kings. If I'm Ladi Bwash, you mad about this? How can you put me in the same generation with them black bones? Shout out to you know, those who know me, you know I don't really like black bones. <laughs> shout out to the black folks, though. But shout out to Paper Colleon, that's a drum. Paper Colleon is the future, we know that. We know that. All ties, one of the best delivery. You feel me? Black bones. Too much corny shit, so... But Black Moons is okay, but... This is not about Black Moons. This is about him putting Ladipo in the same bracket with Black Moons. Oh, I, come on, Ladipo. P-O-E. Like, he started rapping with the name P-O-E. Po. That's like his name. Like, come on, bro. You don't put Lad... I don't know, Sha. And Ladipo is really old. Like, if I'm Ladipo, I'm dropping a diss track. Immediately, I hear this shit. Ladipo. Drop that this track. Stop acting. I know you're trying to be soft with that song you did with Simi. I love that song, by the way. It's on my playlist of the year. I ain't gonna remove that. No, you featuring Simi until ah, it's gonna be on my playlist of the year. That song is too sweet. It is on my playlist of the year. But Ladipo, you need to respond to this because I know your generation is not with them black bones. Although Black Moose is an old guy too. That's not the issue. Ladipo, you should be angry about this. But I know Ladipo is a cool dude. He's just going to see that as a kind of respect. I know he'll blaze me no ear with that. Uh, no pun intended. Let's keep going. Okay. Uh, damn. Ah, I love this shot. Remember featuring Johnny Drew. He's a very personal song. He was having a conversation with his dad. RIP to Daddy Ely, all respect. And Ely was very impressive for this. I felt it. I had goosebumps. Not all songs give me goosebumps. So I added this to my playlist of the month also. I like this a lot. And this is like my second best track in the album so far. After us, um, the one with Nini, who was the title? The one with Nini, Nini. Yeah, Superman. So this is my second best. And, but, then, okay, then Johnny Dream. You know Johnny Dream now. Like, come on. Johnny Dream is like a perfectionist. Like, I've never heard any bad Johnny Dream song. Like, I have never, like, there's nothing bad Johnny Dream can do in this life. If Johnny Dream is a singer, because of his songs, he will make it. That's how good Johnny Dream is. So the next track, track 14. Green, white, green. I caught banner. You still chewing up the... <laughs> Man, like, you... I love the way he was between all the snippets in, in the track. Like, it's nice. And it really went with the theme of the song, Green, White, Green. I caught Banner. He said, no be everybody be G, but like, this song really was love with me because I got dreads. And sometimes I be fly, the you know, Uber, 
and all that. And I get stuff by sales and then I'm trying to check my phone and everything. Don't be everybody be G boy because we look fly. Let me see with the G boy. You feel me? This is another bragging and this is real. I like the bars. And they said many boys still in Jiden. I like the topic. And the hook is kind of chaotic and somehow. But I think it's intentional. Uh okay, let's keep going. Then track 15. Bags, bags, bags. There were so many bags in this track. More bags than when you're checking in in the airport. More bags than when you're arriving. Okay, I don't know. I was trying to kick a punch or whatever. But oh. well, I think there are more, there's more of a Igbo, 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 Igbo stuff, Igbo lines in these bags, bags, bags. It's cool, it's just really classic. It's cool, it's okay. They're my best track of the album. I need to play it. Ah! Playlist of the... Playlist of the year. Until I get tired of it. Hey! Ili Chapo is I rest. I did tell you. This track is that he's on track 16. Like, come on. Let's say I'm not someone that knows Eo Blaze, or I'm not a fan of Eo Blaze, and I'm not doing a review. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to find this track because I'll stop at like maybe after I'll stop at track 10 or 11, and I just, just skip because there are too many music out there. But this is my own personal best track of the album. And if you check on iTunes, there's a star beside the most played. Or the most streamed songs. The most played and streamed songs are track one, track three, track four, eight, and nine. I don't think people didn't discover that track 16. And that's to me the best track. Personally, that I love. I love that track. Just, man, like, I need to play it again. Ah! Till I rest. Like, you just wake up. You wake up in the morning and you hear this kind of track. You feel me? Somebody put on the gym. Like, this is a track you wake up in the morning to. You feel me? So, okay, let's talk about this track. So, he said, Crown of Thorns. Is he trying to call himself Jesus? Okay, maybe it's the Jesus of Nigerian rap, bro, which is cool. The intro got me. I love the intro. Ili Chapo, Tilares. Ah. So he brags about his longevity. Yes, there's something. There's something I want to talk. I got a conspiracy theory about this track. Are you ready? <laughs> That's that Jimmy face. <laughs> there's something. Conspiracy theory. So he said something. And the tribe of Judah won't like it. <laughs> tribe of Judah. Okay, he said, shout out to VC Judah Baga Remy. I like how Billy and Badu. He said VEC first. Ah! He mentioned VEC first before he mentioned him by Abaga. Like, he mentioned VEC. Like, to all you tribe of Judah, shout out to tribe of Judah. Bro. I fuck with y'all guys. To all you tribe of Judah, they're always <laughs> shading the vector. Ili likes vector. And I'm going to say this. Ili puts Vector before it. I'm just joking. Maybe that's the way he wants to sound. But to him, I think he mentioned the rappers that he liked. And he put Vector first, then he put Emma, then he put Reminis, then he put Olamide. But I'm joking, man. That's cool. I'm joking, though. For you to take it too serious. Tribe of Judah, don't come for me. And you know I can come for you people. I got, I'm with all the smoke. Now, the last track. So, when I heard his last track, I was like, this 40 feet container featuring a lamb it sounds like a song made in 2010. Then I remember I've heard this song before and I really liked it. But what I liked was the video. The video was ah, so I gotta play. 
I just want to play a little bit of it. Well, the Hebrews Amadou are Bello. Honest, the type of people whose desire. Um, some people say this Amadou Bello speech is part of what started the coup and the uh, Awusa versus Igbo. I don't know. People said it is a conspiracy theory. Because after this speech, just so crazy. We have to be careful with what we say. Like, we to recently that you said some bullshit and again, he almost got me out of here. But thank God, because I'm, I got pure heart, so God is going to put me down. So we have to be careful what we say. Some people said this speech, Amal Dubelo made was what started the whole Awusa versus Igbo thing. I don't know. I was not there. It's not my era. So, that is mainly to dominate everybody. If they go to a village or a town, they want to monopolize everything in that area. <laughs> The video dropped in 2018, featuring Olamide. So, I don't need to say much about it because most of everybody that likes you, please know this chat. All right, but to be honest, you please killed Olamide on this chat. I don't understand it, but Olamide was very light on this. So, shout out to you, please. That is the Ill Chapel X album review. So at the end of the review, I'm giving it a... Uh, I'm so tired. I'll dance for how many seconds. So I need to rate it. I got a rating system called Genie Heads. So I'm going to rate the album from one to five Genie Heads. One being the lowest, five being the highest. It's called Genie Heads. And that's my rating system based on my opinion, based on what I like. And if you don't like it, you know what that is. <sighs> Genie heads. I, I, won't, I, won't, I won't like, I don't like much, a lot of songs on it, but I like the theme of the album and it was very consistent and the album artwork was nice. The team of the album was consistent. The beat was consistent. Shout out to Suspect on the uh, on the mix. Like, if you know Suspect, Suspect, Suspect is talent. Mabani, OG, OG Suspect. <sighs> but I felt if the album was like ten tracks, like Philosophy, I think Philosophy was ten track. I like us our debut on Philosophy. Yeah, um, Philosophy was seven tracks. I think that's an EP. Um, but because nowadays most people don't really. Listen to much. If it was like 10 track album, it would have been easy. Like, so you will put the best 10 tracks album out. So this album will like have the higher rating. Because even if you check on the iTunes, people are only listening to from track one to track nine. And you can't see any star after track nine, which I don't think is cool. So I'm giving this album drum roll. And the F genius. If you can get three genius, that's crazy. Three and the F genius. Because I, I like there's a song on this album that made it to my, let me say, yearly playlist. But you know the way I, I might remove some songs and add some songs. Like this actually made it to my yearly, my playlist of the year. Like that rest. I don't know. I like it. I just like the feel. And there's a track that made 
I think two tracks made it. Yeah, remember and uh, Superman. Yeah, made it to my monthly and some tracks made it to my weekly playlist. So playlist of this week. So yeah, Superwoman, Superman, and uh, what is it called? Superman. Which other track made it to the yeah Superman and remember. Me into the playlist of the month. So I'll be listening to Superman and remember all through this month. And rest is on my playlist of the year. Shout out to Ill Bliss. Shout out to all the fans. Please subscribe. Please, I beg you. Subscribe. I think God beg you. Subscribe. You can see that my subscribers are not much. It's just 300 or something. Subscribe. Like this video. Comment. Share. And tag Ill Bliss when you share on Twitter. Jimmy, I'm out. Like ESPN, no ANR, so I was able to invest in him. I had a kick in the door that won't let me in. Just slap me wing. Cause I done earned stripes like shell toes till I'm packing stadiums. I won't keep my mouth closed.